Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm actually right on the doorstep of Ico Tower this morning. I paddled out at first light, uh, battling the tide to get out here quite a bit. It's a nice big tide today. Fairly flat conditions. There is a little bit of chop, but not too much. A little bit of white water on the reefs, which is always a good thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the tide to drop and then just explore some of the gullies around here as it's such a big tide. I have been out on the kayak twice this year so far. So this is the third occasion. The first occasion I went out on the North Coast and that was just a write off within half an hour. The swell was absolutely pumping. I probably got a little bit too cocky to go out that morning. The second time was out here and uh, yeah, it was flat calm, really small tides and I didn't see one fish. Fingers crossed for today, better conditions, better tides and uh, better vibes today, definitely. I'm feeling it a little bit better. So I'm gonna uh, just crack on and, and fish around the tower. The reason I'm right up against the tower this morning is that tide's absolutely peeing uh, out to the northeast. So what I'm gonna do is just use uh, the tower and some of the reefs around it while the tide's up is just a little bit of protection and just sit in the slack water, chuck some laws out into a bit of tide um, in and around some white water in the reefs and uh, any bass that are cruising through or scouting any gullies this morning should, should end up on the end of the line. So fingers crossed we can get something. So guys, I am gonna start off with the Tackle House Feed Shallow. And the reason I'm gonna start off with this law, although it's 24 foot where I'm sat now, just in there where you can see them birds on the reefs, a little bit of white water coming through just at the base of this tower. It's really shallow and there's a lot of tide moving through there and there's a nice little bit of white water spilling off. So I'm thinking if I can chuck this law at the back of that, back of that reef where that white water is there, I reckon we're gonna be quids in with a fish, hopefully. That's the theory anyway. Could probably get proved wrong within about half an hour of absolutely nothing but you turn up to a spot like this it's just that's what's that's what's screaming out to me put a law at the back of them reefs just there and uh just sit in this slack water here there's a little bit of tide moving through either side there so i'm gonna start off with the uh, tackle house feed shallow this is quite a unique pattern as well this is the ub15 my favorite pattern never fails this one so Let's see what it's, uh, what it's going to prove today. Fish on. Didn't take long. It's not a monster, but I'll welcome that for the first one of the trip. Oh, there's loads of them following it up. Wow. Feed shallow doing the job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy tiger. First cast of the trip guys, a nice bass has slammed this feed shallow. Scary's on now guys, sidewinder sand eel. Let's get that right in the mixture. See if we can go a little bit closer to the shore and sit in some slack water. It's hard to find slack water here this morning because it's absolutely peeing past both sides of this you can see maybe there's a little bit of tide running so i'm going to try around here after it looks really nice but just in this little bowl bit of uh, of slack tide let's get the scaries out there any fish crossing through here should be on the cards. Hopefully. Oh, that's the money shot. A bit too close, if anything, on that reef.
could try top water in a minute, but I want to see if I can get one on, on the Skerries here because it's ideal ground for it. Try right against it. Little head there just poking up, so see some reefs there. Might be a fish. Right in close, look, right in close to the to the tower here. No, nothing there. Can try top water in a minute. Just want to have a couple of flicks of this right into the to the reefs into the rocks because sometimes when there is a bit of bait the bass will be pressing that bait and there's nothing there yeah sometimes the, the bass will press the bait right into these shallow areas get to try a slower retrieve now it's a nice bit of swell on that reef not too much, just right. Fishing in 11 foot of water at the moment. No, nothing there. It's quite deep here actually, for around here anyway. Might be better on the uh, on the other side. Mind you, we could run up to that reef there and check that out. Let's go and have a look around this bit. A little bit bouncy around here because there's quite a bit of tide. We're going to drift quite quick, I think here. Maybe try the other side of where I was actually casting. If I get it snagged, I've got to go in there and get it out pretty much. Let's just try in that bit there. Looks pretty good. Quite a bit of chop. Let's go up tide. This is nice conditions around here, not too much, it's just right at the moment, anyway. <laughs> Across this channel here. Oh, it's shallow here. Don't want to risk going too, too much further. It's like 11 foot. So basically we're sat above a rock like that guys at the moment. Looks good there though. That's where ideally I want to be but don't want to risk it getting too close. It's a nice couple of heads just in front here. Might be a fish over that. Nice bit of tide coming through. There we go. Oh, look at that. Big reef underneath us there. Try one in there.
No, nothing in that bit. Try, try a top water lawn maybe around the corner. Let's try the uh, Lazy Law Striker. Check that out for a pattern. Like a smelt top water, that. This law is probably going to be ideal today because there's a little bit of chuff on the water. Not too much, but there is a bit. It's going to pull right up in this slack water area. Again. In fact, I might just stop here. Let's try from here. There's still quite a bit of tide here actually guys. I need to get right into that bay I think. Should have brought my uh, my anchor with me. <laughs> I wouldn't anchor in here though. It's a bit a bit rough. But you can see it rushing past here. This is the only little bit of slack water there is. I think right up in here. I don't really want to get washed onto the rocks, but this is probably the best bit. It's probably the bit I want to be in. Look at this. Run a surface law over this bit. Maybe he just got super lucky with that fish. I would have thought it would be much better than this. After catching that, that first one so, so quickly, I thought there'd be a lot here. There's another little sort of bay bit there. Going to try the uh, subsurface lure in there. Mix it up with the lures just in that bit around the corner. There's a nice little bit of tide stretching through here and I think this looks quite shallow. Just off the corner of this reef here and then in between these two bits here. That looks fairly shallow so that is ideal with a bit of tide running through. That should, in theory, give us the sort of ground we're after to run a shallow subsurface law around. Uh, Got to be super careful here because there's a couple of reefs. I might just try and get through the middle of them but I don't want to end up on top of these that's the thing see that one just protruding that one just protruding so I reckon in and around here looks quite good for a shallow diver let's give it a whirl providing we don't end up on top of them reefs I might get the other side actually whilst having a quick flip with this it's got the Bixby in like first gear just mooching around in here let's just get away from them them little heads there really because there's a bit of tide might be worth a bash in and around here around the back of these you can see there's a bit of tide coming through we'll sit here and see what happens six foot of water here guys so bang on what I want for this law
Just give it a couple of cuffs in here and just see how it goes. Could maybe try it. Back at them reefs I just went over. Whoa! I don't think this is a bad fish. Woohoo! Right next to the kayak, that one. Oh, he's not a big fish. <laughs> Didn't have hit it hard, that one. Wow! Come on, mate. Come on, let's get you unhooked. on this guy he's hooked a little bit better than the other one so hopefully I'm just gonna get out of here guys with the motor all right mate all right all right all right all right Bit of a sticky situation here because in quite a shallow spot let's get that lure out of the way there we go Second fish, that's much smaller than the uh, the first one, but it doubled the fight on it, doubled the fight. And that was that little bit of um, reef that I just passed where I had to paddle through to get to this bit. Probably had about 20 casts so far this morning and two fish to show for it, so not so bad. Off you go, mate. There we go, he's gone. There's another little shallow bit here. A little bit of a shelf just in front so I'm gonna try that with this lure now I thought that no joke I thought that fish was probably about five six pounds the way it hit the way it hit and just started taking lime my drag is a little bit light actually <laughs> it's probably why I got excited but um, no the way it hit I thought flipping heck this isn't a bad one These lures, guys, by the way, if you are interested, maybe you're just starting out on the kayak, uh, these lures available from Mr. Fish. I'll put a uh, link in the description. Um, yeah, well worth checking out. Really ideal for if you're just pottering around really shallow areas in the kayak and there's a little bit of bait, especially like sand smelt, stuff like that. And these are cracking lures for nighttime as well because you can retrieve this so slowly and it just rolls anyway and it's got such a wobble on it it's an amazing lure it's super noisy as well oh geez we're into another fish that one started kiting now this doesn't feel too bad Oh, this could be a good fish. He's, oh my God, this could be a really good fish, guys. I don't know what this is. It's got to be a bass. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? This could be a good fish, guys. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. He's only lightly hooked. Yes! Woohoo! Right, let's get this one on hook. And this is more like it, guys. This is more like it. This isn't a bad fish, guys to start off with this is like I'd be happy with these all day long I'd be happy with a fish like this all day long check that out guys third fish of the trip nice half decent sized bass that and uh, that was on the uh, subsurface tackle house feed shallow again the tide is uh, 
still peeing fast, but I found this nice little bit of slack water and, and found this fish. So I'm gonna put him back. Absolutely smash it, fish. What a beauty. Off you go, mate. Go on. See you later. Hey, <laughs> got the net out. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the next trip out, until the next kayak session, tight lines and safe paddling.